Shem Angel 47, Asalia. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. This is Talisa McKnight, and we've made it all the way to Shem Angel 47, Asalia. This is an angel associated with justice and revealing the truth in a situation. It may be that you're having legal trouble, or it may be that you're being accused wrongly of something that you're not doing. And it may also be that you want to know the truth of a situation. Let's say that you suspect some things, but you're not really sure, but you don't want to like jump to conclusions. You really want to know the truth of a situation, especially where there may be some unfair play or some wrongdoing. Let's say that you think that someone might be doing something behind your back or someone might be up to something shady. Asalia is all about revealing the truth and what is actually going on. The divine attribute is, um, let me see here, God the just. Yep, God. So, uh, Athanasius Kircher's, um, his Oedipus Egyptiacus that he published in 1654. The divine attribute that he gives is Deus Justus Judex, God the just judge. So it has to do with the divine as the just judge, like making true judgment in a situation. And as such, this angel is associated with legal proceedings and courts. This angel governs um, fifth, uh, this angel governs 20 to 25 degrees of Scorpio. Um, so, Athanas um, so the science of the Kabbalah, this is what Lazar Lenane has to say about the office of the angel. This genius rules justice and makes the truth known in proceedings. It influences probing persons and those who raise their minds to the contemplation of divine things. The person born under this influence is gifted with a pleasant character and will be passionate about acquiring into seek, acqu acquiring secret light or secret knowledge. So this is a very useful angel to have around, especially if you're wondering if someone might be up to something or you want to see what's really going on in a situation, you may find whether or not you have uh, what seems to be an interaction during the working, you may find that later on the truth suddenly is, is revealed to you. Um, I would not, let's say you're having legal trouble, I would not recommend trying to use this angel to get out of something that you actually did because this shim angel is specifically about revealing the truth. It's about justice. Um, so using an angel of, of justice and revealing the truth to hide something and get out of justice would probably not be the thing to do. Um, so Asalia, um, the Divine Cabal says that As Asalia governs from the 12th of November to the 16th inclusively. Of course, this really depends on the year, because our year does not perfectly follow um, the Zodiac. Um, but uh, it says, Asalia governs from the 12th of November to the 16th inclusively. The verse from whence is derived his name is the 5th verse of the 91st Psalm. How magnificent are all thy works, O Lord! Thy thoughts are too profound. Um, the Psalm verse given... Um, throughout the material, um, Psalm 92, verse 5, so there's a different numbering, whether you're using the, the Vulgate or the Septuagint version of the Psalms and the Masoretic text. The Masoretic text, it's Psalm 92, verse 5, O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. So there's some variation how we translate that. Um, but that essentially is a salia. Once again, this angel has to do with um, divine justice, about revealing the truth in a situation. And this is actually very useful. You know, there are many situations 
where we really want to see the truth in the situation. We don't want to jump to conclusions, but we, we really want to see the truth of what is going on. And perhaps this angel could also help us um, to make a good judgment in, in such a situation. So let's take a look at the science of the Kabbalah. Yeah, it says, um, he serves to praise God and to rise towards him when he sends us light. And that kind of has to do with the contemplation of divine things. So this, this angel could also be associated with spiritual evelation, like elevating ourselves towards the divine. This genius rules over justice, men of probity, and, and over those things which raise their spirit to the contemplation of divine things. Um, so, yep, that is, and this is um, the last, I believe, I'll have to take a look. No, it's not the last one, there's one more after this, of the Choir of Virtues. And the virtues are very powerful um, angels that, essentially govern the cosmos so this is a very high level being um to work with so as i always say you don't have to use special timing with this angel um but right now people all around the world are turning their attention to asalia so even though you can work with the shim angels anytime in these videos we follow the sun through the zodiac so that um, within a year, we work with all 72 of the Shem Angels. And then in the Kabbalistic tables given by Lazar Lenane, he does make this up. <clears throat> but if you want to use, if you want to try, I recommend people try it out, you know. If you want to try the 20-minute cycle given by Lazar Lenane, which he does invent, he does create it, um, but this angel governs from 3.20 p.m. to 3.40 p.m. Daylight savings is not really an issue. We're past that point. So uh, from 3.20 to 3.40 p.m. So that is Asalia. The divine attribute is God, the just judge. And this angel, once again, is associated with discovering the truth in a situation, with justice. So that's pretty much it. It's kind of a short video, it's uh, kind of late getting this out, but I wanted to go ahead and um, get this video out for y'all. I hope that everyone is doing well, and um, I hope that uh, you guys are, are uh, working with these angels. And then, um, of course, Barbiel is the angel associated with Scorpio in general, Barbiel. Um, I made a Patreon video recently talking about Barbiel and encouraging people to use um, the astral projection type of method. You could use other types of methods as well, such as scrying and things like that to work with the angels, or just prayer and petition. I often talk about that there are three main ways of working with these angels. One is the method of contemplation. Um, another is the method of prayer, and then the other would be through um, the means of ceremonial magic, through using scrying devices, things like that. But Barbiel, Barbiel is the angel in general of Scorpio, and it's a very good time to work with that angel as well. <clears throat> Hi Sarah, how are you doing? Hi Robin, it's so great to see y'all here. How are y'all doing this evening? But yet, we are working through all 72 of the angels of the Shem Ha Meferesh. So we're working through it gradually. I appreciate y'all being part of this with me, and we're working through this together. Um, let's see, Sarah says, pretty good. It was a good day. Well, I'm glad to hear it. And then uh, here on my Facebook, and then also on my YouTube in the community section, um, I have all of the stuff listed, the psalm verses, the sigil, all of that type of stuff so that people can start working with these spirits. You know, I often tell people you don't have to have a whole lot of equipment um, and a whole lot of stuff to start working with the Shem angels. You could just light a candle and say a prayer. So it's better to just do that than to do nothing at all. I really think it's important 
that people work with each and every angel as it comes up. If you're pressed for time and you don't have time for a big elaborate working, light a candle, say a prayer to a salia. Um, I think it's very important to really think about what is important to us within the office of an angel. But if you can't think of anything, it's better than doing nothing at all to just ask the angel that if there's anything being, being hidden from you that you need to know about, um, that it is revealed. So if you can't think of anything within the office of the angel, just ask for something general. Is, is there anything going on um, that's wrong that I need to know about the truth of the situation? Just say a candle. I mean, <laughs> light a candle, say a prayer. It's better than nothing at all. I think it's very useful to cycle through all 72 of the Shem angels in a year. I think it's very useful. And it's better to do just a quick prayer, something, than to do nothing. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, y'all. I've been pretty busy here lately. I've been traveling out of town a lot. And uh, trying to get some things going. Some important things um, for what we're trying to do here with the... Um, getting getting a lot of there's there's good stuff on the way <laughs> but i've been kind of out of town here lately um so i haven't been doing i try to do videos every single day last few days i've been kind of preoccupied but there's really good stuff on the way a lot of good things to look forward to um hi james how are you doing today <clears throat> um Robin says the something small is better than nothing message is resonating big time right now in general. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm glad that that resonates for you. And I think, um, I think it's very useful and important. You know, we all go through cycles. Sometimes we go through periods where we're very motivated and we're ready to like really do a bunch of like hardcore stuff and we, we feel the fire and the energy. But especially when you know, I often say you don't have to follow special timing, but especially if you're doing it like we do in these videos, we're going through all 72 angels in a year, especially something like that. We may experience dry periods. When you're having a dry period where you don't feel motivated, it's better to do something than nothing. So I really encourage people, please don't stop. If you have stopped, it's okay. Pick it up again. Uh, a quick prayer is better than nothing at all. So anyways, we've made it all the way to Shem Angel 47, Asalia. So I really appreciate y'all, and thank you so much, Robin. And we're going to keep working through these, these powerful spirits of magic together. So we're going to keep going deeper here. So that's just a quick video. <laughs> Sorry it's so late putting it out. Um, but there's good stuff on the way. So I really appreciate you very much. Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you, Sarah. And um, I will see y'all in the next video. All right. Bye, y'all. Have a great night, y'all. See y'all in the next video.